What's up everyone, and today I'm doing an updated deck profile of my Sky Strikers. Now before I get into the deck profile, I just want to remind you to vote for which deck you'd like me to do a deck profile of, and to hit that subscribe button to get notified whenever I upload. And without further ado, let's get right into the deck profile. Now before I was running some pretty weird and unique stuff, although I'm not running that this time. This is more of a normal Sky Striker build. I first run three Sky Striker Ace Ray. Sky Striker Ace Ray has a quick effect. You can tribute this card to special summon one Sky Striker Ace monster from your extra deck to your extra monster zone. And while this card is in your graveyard, if a face up Sky Striker Ace Lane monster control is destroyed by battle or leaves the field because of an opponent's card effect, you can special summon this card. So basically, you can link this into any Sky Striker Link monster during your opponent's turn, and when it's destroyed, you can special summon it from the grave, which is pretty good. Next, I run two Sky Striker Ace. Rose it is normal or special summon, except Rose, you can special summon this card from your hand. If an opponent's monster in the extra monster zone is destroyed by battle or leaves the field because of your card effect, while this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon this card. Then you can negate one of the effects of one of your face up opponent's monsters. So it's good as negation in grave, and also it can also uh, help you get into your link too. Zeke. I also run three Ash Blossom and Julius Spring for the hand trap and the Toon Cyber Dragon. And that's pretty much all the monsters I run. This is primarily a spell-based deck. Going on to the spells. I run three, Sky Striker, Area Space Zero. Area Zero, you can target one other card you control. Excavate the top three cards of the deck, and if you do, add one Excavated Sky Striker card from your deck to your hand. And if you do, send the targeted card to the graver, so it's good for getting cards in the grave. Like, Sky Striker cards gain effects if you have more spells in grave. If you have Three spells engraved, they gain additional effects. And this kind of uh, helps with that as well as searching too. And if this card in the field zone is sent to the graveyard by card effect, you can special summon one Sky Striker Ace monster from your deck. So you do get something by destroying it as well. Also run the one Mystic Mind, cause sometimes maybe a little bit slower. You don't really summon a whole lot of monsters aside from the Link monsters. Also run the one Terraforming to search it out. Also run three Sky Striker Mecha Widow Anchor. This card was at one time limit at one, but it came back ever since uh, Engage got banned. Sky Striker card's just been kind of slowly coming off the list. Widow Anchor, if you control no monsters in your main monster zone, that's, this is why you don't run a whole lot of monsters, because if you control main monsters in your monster zone, that's going to hurt you. Target one face-up effect monster on the field, negate that monster's effects until the end of turn. Then, if you have three or more spells in your graveyard, you can take control of that monster until the end phase. Also run three Sky Striker Mecha Shark Cannon. Shark Cannon is essentially a call by the grave. You can target one monster in your opponent's graveyard, banish that monster, or if you have three or more spells in the graveyard, you can special summon that monster to your field instead. So it could be either like a call by the grave or, or monster reborn. Well, unfortunately it does not negate. You can either banish it or special summon it to your field. I run two Sky Striker Maneuver Scissors Cross. If you control no monsters in your main monster zone, target one level four Sky Striker Ace monster in your graveyard, add to your hand, and if you have three or more spells in the grave, you can special summon it instead. Also run uh, the one multi-roll. Multi-roll, it's essentially recurs in the deck. The more Sky Striker spell cards you activate, it gets a counter, well, not a counter, but during the end phase, you can set as many Sky Striker spells from your grave up to the number of Sky Striker spells you activated. Also run uh, the one Hornet Drones. Hornet Drones essentially summons a token. It's Pretty simple. I also run the one Afterburner and the one Gemming Wave. This is monster removal and spell and trap removal. And I also run one Sky Striker McArmory Hercules Base. That's essentially a recursion. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard by a card effect, you could target three Sky Striker cards in your graveyard. That's the effect you mainly want to do. Although, if this monster, the monster this card is equipped to attack, destroys a monster by its attack, and you have three or more spells in the graveyard, you can draw one card. So it is a little bit of draw power too. Next, I run three, Toon Table of Contents. The point of two ta Table of Contents is to get spells into the grave. Because it's not one for turn, and Toon Table of Contents, you can add one Toon card or manga, Ryu, Ran from deck to hand. So essentially what you do, you activate Toon Table to add a Toon Table, then you activate that Toon Table to add a Toon Table, then you activate that Toon Table to add Toon Cyber Dragon. Then you have three cards, three spells in your grave, which really helps with the, again, the Sky Strikers going. Also run the uh, three Full of Sparrow Goods and the one Metal Swords Fusion. Helps with getting spells into the grave. And also if you have Metal Swords Fusion in the grave, you can send it to the deck to draw one. Also run three Pot of Avarice for draw power. Starting with the uh, Sky Strikers, you can just keep linking into each other. So, well, unfortunately, you can only like link someone, one of them, or turn. So, like I say, you want to 
link Ray into Suzuku, then into Kikari, then into Harata, and then to Kayana, for example. You'll have like four monsters in the grave, and if you have like a, a hand trap or rose or whatever, that'll make five in. It's, a, it's an easy plus two. Also run the one Rota, because this is a warrior based deck. The one called for hand traps, and the one double or nothing to kind of help uh, finish games. And for the traps, I just run the one Metaverse. Moving on to the extra deck. First, I run three Sky Striker Ace Shizuku. Shizuku, monsters your opponent controls lose 100 attack for each spell in your, in your graveyard. Once per turn during the end phase, if this card was special summoned this turn, you can add one Sky Striker spell from your deck to your hand. So it searches uh, your spells. Also run three Sky Striker Ace Kagari. Kagari is, it's a recursion. If this card is special summoned, you can target a Sky Striker spell in your graveyard, add to your hand. Also run the three Sky Striker Ace Hayate. This one you mainly want to end on for like battle. This card can attack directly and after damage calculation, if this card battles, you can send one Sky Striker card from your deck to your hand or deck to your grave. So it's kind of like a full burial goods or full burial. Also on a two Kayane. This is the one you mainly go to during your opponent's turn. If this card is special summon, you can target one face up monster your opponent controls. It cannot attack until the end of your opponent's turn. Each time you activate Sky Striker spell card or its effect, gain 100 life points immediately after this card effects resolves. Also run the two Sky Striker Ace Zeke. If this card is linked summon, you can target one face up monster on the field, banish it until your opponent's next end phase. So that's really good for causing disruption for your opponent. And next, I run the one Utopia and the one Utopia double for the OTK option. So that's it for my uh, Sky Striker deck profile. What do you think? Think Sky Striker is a pretty cool deck? Think this is better than my last deck profile? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video I make. Bye!